ASMR videos were the first ones um, that got me into ASMR. I had no idea what it was beforehand. So looking at this guide, I always remember when I first sort of clocked onto ASMR and the journey began. Uh, game guide. 
night and I just thought it was so relaxing not having to focus on uh, the language and the literature. I could just sort of appreciate it for the colours and the images. It was just so deeply relaxing and I was hoping to do that with this guide and do that for you. And first of all it's got such a beautiful beaming uh, from cover. However, this Japanese strategy guide is full of quirky, uh, quirky bits. Ow. The stickers. There's weird inserts. There's a poster. There's, there's some weird little like book bit there. It eventually talks about the game. Although what it says, I have no clue. And it costs uh, 648 yen but yeah I really enjoyed um, uh, Super Mario Bros Wii I think if you had the Wii and better than how do I was the first real platformer you played well it was for me um, like I said I remember just sitting down with a couple of friends um, you know Mario Luigi and someone would be towed and just sort of flying through the courses and it was, it was usually me, but there's always that one sort of jackass who would pick up like Toad and throw him down a chasm. It was always entertaining. Let's see on the back. Yeah, uh, Toad, Luigi, Toad, Mario, Yoshi, Yellow Yoshi, uh, Super Mushroom, uh, question block, coins and a Goomba, and a... Warp pipe. Oh, I really do love Mario Nintendo. Um, for all the for all the criticisms, it's great. Okay. Uh, next, I'm going to show you a guide which I picked up and regretted. strategy guide for Call of Duty Ghosts. So when Call of Duty Ghosts came out I was about 15. Yeah about 15. Maybe 14, 15. And got the game and I just saw the uh, strategy guide by the counter and I was accompanied with my far focus. I was too young to legally own Call of Duty Ghosts. And I went, oh, that could be useful in my uh, innocence, na my innocent naivety. I took it home. I opened it. I suddenly, it suddenly dawned on me that Call of Duty is not a difficult game. It's very linear. But then I thought, hold on. It shows you the multiplayer maps. I could really dominate on multiplayer. Nation. I was wrong. It helped me no way whatsoever. And it's surprisingly thick. Like... Yeah, so, here's a map called Chasm. I do actually remember this quite well. And basically, it, it shows you where so like the flags are. Headquarters where the different headquarters are, yeah. and on the back it's got school. There you go, there you see. Um, not a fan of Call of Duty Ghosts. Basically, I keep picking it up annually, but I've sort of it went downhill after Black Ops One. Personally, after Black Ops One, I just lost sort of real interest. I remember being so excited with friends when the new Call of Duty came out. And this was when I had like really bad internet. This was before we got fiber optic. And I would be excited. Yeah, it would take me 10 minutes to join a lobby. And then I'd usually get kicked on the basis that I kept, um, you know, I guess connection interrupted and my little avatar flies across a map. It took me, uh, a few minutes to realize I didn't have, uh, um, uh, oh, what's the perk called? That, like, 
Let's use Sprint. Like, Sprint constantly, as in, like, Modern Warfare. That could have been quite a good joke, but never mind. But it's alright, because, uh, the guide came with two sewable, uh, patches of ghosts. And, uh, let me just read it, because I, the, the story was so bland, I can't even remember who the two sides were. Let's say... Federation, right? They called the Federation. Should have been obvious. And I don't know why I haven't sewed it on, because I often like running around as if I'm a, um, in a militia. So I'll have to get on to that. Get sewing it. you like artwork then obviously in depth walkthroughs But yeah, this was very cheap when I 
picked it up, it was about six, seven pounds sealed. Uh, comes with 100% complete story walkthrough area maps, but also exclusive lithographs and a uh, hardcover. So that's cool. Still sealed. Got the majority of these guys are still sealed. I feel bad. Love as always, guys.